Dear friends, well, I thought I would do an unboxing with you. This one came to me, um, what was it, a couple days ago. And usually I wait until Christmas time is over for the sales and then I order a little something for myself. <laughs> so this year has been so crazy and stressful. I thought, okay, I really deserve another bag. <laughs> and so I went on to, um, how did I find this bag? to think if I saw a video pop up or an ad pop up for it and I thought oh that is really cute so I went online to the skate uh, Kate Spade outlet which is surprise.katespade.com and ordered this little guy and it looks so cute and comfortable I was really curious to see it in person but the reviews for this were wonderful and they said it's some of the softest leather and if you know Kate Spade, they don't tend to use a lot of soft leather. So I'm curious about this one. So we'll unbox it here. I flipped it over so you couldn't see my address information. But oh, it's all wrapped. Ooh, the size looks good. I'll get this box out of the way here. So this is the Kate Spade Small Dumpling Bag. Yeah, Dumpling Small Satchel. And I can't remember what I paid for this. I think it was on sale for 120 something. They had some good sales going on. So I thought that was totally reasonable. And I do like Kate Spade. Oh, it is cute. Oh, the leather is super soft. I love it. So this little guy over here is already going wonky, but they, it has little bands like this and they kind of fold down. It's wrapped really well. I don't think I have bought a coach bag in a while. Just I just got so tired of their, oh, I don't know, their little games with the pricing online and getting sent the wrong thing all the time. It's just a pain. And then if you get something with Rakuten, usually it's great, but Kate or the coach outlet doesn't report anything to Rakuten like ever. So you always have to go chasing your refund on that. But anyhow, Kate Spade is good. And so these little guys lay down like this. This one is kind of floppy because it was bent in the package, but it'll straighten out. And I don't know if they cinch anything. Let me go ahead and get this all unwrapped and then I will come back. Okay, so now I got her all unwrapped. So cute. I'm telling you guys, this leather is so nice and supple. It's a pebbled leather, and this is black, of course. And they also had one in, I think it was, um, I'm not sure what she calls the color. Is it caramel? Something like that. But I like the Kate Spade hardware because it's somewhere in between silver and gold. It's always that champagne gold, so it's really suitable for any outfit. But see, you've got all these compartments, and this also comes in a large size, too. I don't think they have one that's called medium dumpling. I think it's just small dumpling satchel or large dumpling satchel. But here is the information from the tag. We can focus on that. Eh. Not really focusing very well, but anyhow, it is code K8135 pebbled leather black dumpling. It does have four feet, which is so nice. Most of our bags do. This reminds me a lot of a bag that I had before of Kate Spade's called the Tegan Satchel, and I had it in white, and I just, I really loved it, but it reminds me a lot of this, but it didn't have the snaps in the pocket, so I really like that. Now these, I knew this was going to be smaller. Let me give you the dimensions first. So at the widest point across it is 11 inches at the base across because see it kind of tapers in like a little dumpling there at the base it's 10 and then at the top it goes up to about eight and a half okay and then the height of it is it is seven and a half inches tall and the width is at the base, looks like four and a half inches. So that's a good size little bag. Now it does come with a crossbody strap that is also adjustable. 
and you've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. You've got the nice little holder at the bottom here. It's all leather. Very cute. But then it has the little satchel handles, and these don't really seem like they'd get in the way because they're short. It is just pretty much like a hand carry, four inches for the drop there. It's got, let me see, it's got glazing on the edges, not turned edges, but glazed, and that looks okay. I see one little dent on it, but who cares? But I think the problem that people would have with this one, if you don't, I have really small hands, but if you have bigger hands, I think this might be an issue, is just trying to get into these spaces. Like, see, here's some more wrapping stuff, and I didn't even reach it when I first <laughs> reached in. So you've got a tinier opening for the outside pocket. It would be perfect for your phone or your keys. But then you've got all this space down here that it drops into, a huge pocket. So I'm not sure. It's cute, though. I'm not sure why they made that opening in the front and the back so small. You have an equal one in the back here. And same thing, I forgot to get out. <laughs> More wrapping. But it just helps with the shape of the bag. Now, a lot of people are calling this like a little dupe for a pollen bag. They say it looks like one to them. I don't know which one it would look like. Um, I don't own any pull-on bags, but I think it's really cute on its own. It does feel very lightweight. Not like um, not like the lightweight that it seems like it's thin leather because the leather feels really super nice, but it is lightweight, so that's nice. Very cute. And then the sides, you know, you I think it's just for show. You can cinch these up but it doesn't really make it more gathered at the top just because it is so you know short at the top but you can gather it that's cute i like that it's a nice little style and then it's fabric lined you've got the kate spade logo in here lined in black so for those of you that think things are hard to find if it's a black bag that might be an issue but there's tons of room and i'll try and show you what fits as well Lots of room in this pocket. Got a matching one in the front, and they do close with a snap, which is nice. So your stuff stays secure. Each pocket has a snap, which is super nice. Another here. And then you don't have any like inside zip pockets in these bigger sections, but you do have an inside zip pocket in the middle. And that is just probably, more wrapping. <laughs> That's probably just big enough for, um, oh, and the magnet. Probably big enough for just like your phone or something if you wanted to put that in there but or not your phone probably your um coin case or keys and then you have the oops kate spade branding on the little zipper pool it's adorable i love it i can't decide if i would carry it hand carry or crossbody, but I like the size of it because it's not so big that you feel like it's just a big bulky thing at your side if you're wearing it crossbody. I think I probably will try it crossbody as well. It's a nice size. So let me go fill it up and I'll come back and show you what fits. Okay guys, I am gonna be just as surprised as you are here because I could not believe all the stuff that fits in here. It's so cute. You know, when you think that the widest spot is 11 inches, that's a pretty good size bag. So it is more of like a medium small bag. It's not like a mini bag or anything, but it is just so cute. So let me show you what I got in here. I had everything from two different purses that I put in here. Couldn't believe it. Okay, so in the front here, I put this charger representing my phone because it's pretty much the same size, fits in there no problem at all. And it's pretty tall, look at that, just boop. And you can still snap shut that section very easily right there and then in the bigger section first I have still tons of room in here I could get more in I have my little pill case it's just a little coin case I have a little key case that I use for my headphones from Daisy Rose I have my little I think it's Gianni Bernini um, softy wallet which I love it's super soft and the pebbled leather is soft like the bag so it kind of matches I think this was from Macy's I think it's their house line but I got this several years ago and let's see got a little coin case here and that's from Deso. and what else that's it in there and then in here I have my glasses and their little taco case and then I was even able to put in my Agenda PM in there. 
my Louis Vuitton Agenda PM fits in there fine. I mean, there's tons of room, as you can see. Look at that. It's crazy. I'm just going to leave this pack because I'm just going to switch out into this bag. <laughs> I like it so much. And then in the back here, what did I put? Back here, I have pepper spray and tissues, which fits great. Also, a lot more can fit back there. And then in the center zip pocket, I have my keys. So I've got my car keys and my house keys. And that is a pretty big key ring. And it just dropped right in there. Look at that. No problem at all. So while it does have the small openings, the actual areas inside are a nice, nice size. And I think I'm probably pretty used to that sort of setup. I'm thinking about like the um, Dooney & Burke Florentine satchels, especially if you get a smaller one, like the mini, the opening for their pockets in front or the main uh, entry is a lot shorter than the main part of it. So you have to kind of get around that. So I'd say if you have larger hands, you know that you do already. So <laughs> don't get the small version of this. Try out the large version. I'm not sure how big the large version is, but it just looked too big to me for what I wanted. But this, I mean, you can see it holds everything. And I hope that leather quality is coming through. Look at, I think you can tell. It is so squishy. It is just like a dumpling. Really squishy and soft, beautiful quality leather. And I haven't conditioned this or anything. I mean, I just got it right out of the box as you saw, but really nice quality. I really like this so much. Very happy with it. So I hope you like this video and I hope I gave you a, another bag to think about. But I mean, the price is right. I think the regular price is, oh yeah, here it is. Regular price on this is $379, right there. But I think this is one of those bags that was just for the outlets anyhow. Um, and then these are the attachments for the, I didn't show you that, for the crossbody strap inside. Um, but I think this was made for the outlets anyhow. And like I said, I got it at a great sale. I think it was like 120 130 somewhere around there. So definitely worth it. I am so happy with my new little bag. It's perfect for winter time. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.